Hi, it's uh, September 28th, 2020. I'm Pastor Edgar, and these are Afterthoughts. On Sunday, we looked at the passage from John chapter 12, starting at verse 37. And there we find some words that might be hard for some to take. We saw that uh, God hardens the heart and blinds the eyes uh, of Israel. Uh, some of those in the crowd that were listening to Jesus, uh, the Apostle John was applying that passage to them. So indicating that God hardened their hearts and blinded their eyes. And for some, that's hard to take. It's kind of taken the same way as predestination or, or the elect. Uh, it's seen as some are lucky enough to be chosen by God, to be saved by God. And others uh, who want to be saved, they are kind of shafted. Uh, God doesn't choose them. And so it's like, come on, God. Why aren't you choosing those? Those want to be saved. Why aren't you choosing them? Why are you hardening their hearts? Why are you um, blinding their eyes? And in that passage, uh, in that sermon, we, we looked for a, a starting point, or, or I provided a starting point of understanding that passage. Um, those folks, it wasn't that they were innocent. It wasn't that they were morally neutral. Uh, it wasn't as if they were uh, wanting to follow God and God hardened their hearts and blinded their eyes. They wanted to, but he just didn't let them. No, uh, every person is born a sinner. Every person has chosen to harden their hearts against God and blind their own eyes. Those folks, God hardened their already hard hearts. He blinded their already blind eyes. Because every person is responsible uh, for their own sin and for rejecting God. Every person has rejected God. If you are not worshiping God, you're, making, you're worshiping a God that you have made up, which is uh, rejecting the one and only God. You're worshiping your own God. So no one is morally neutral. No one is born innocent. And God never forces anyone to sin or to stay in their sin. And he never forces anyone to reject him. We do that on our own. That's our starting point. That's where we begin. So when God doesn't save a person, he is never being unfair. I think that's important to understand. When God doesn't save one, someone, he is not being unfair. So now, while this might be difficult for us to accept, because we do live in a culture where we choose everything, and uh, it seems like uh, us being able to choose what we want to do is highlighted and valued so incredibly much maybe because of our individuality that uh, our individualism that's in our culture but we value uh, choosing on our own but it is true we do have that choice very much we choose to reject God we choose sin over God and if God doesn't save us we stay in what we have chosen so while you're figuring out some of these difficult passages and, and, um, and, trying to f and trying to make sense out of them, be sure to include other passages to help you understand uh, the one that is providing some difficulty. And remember two things uh, when you come to Scripture. Uh, one is that no innocent person ever went to hell or is going to hell. There is no one in hell and there never will be anyone in hell that is innocent of sin. They're all guilty. Everyone is guilty. Everyone is guilty there. And the second one is, no one who wants to repent will ever be kept from repenting. If someone wants to repent, they will repent and the Lord will accept them. But he never holds anybody back from repenting. And God never sends an innocent person to hell. So those are two things that you need, we need to understand and embrace, that we are all guilty. We're all guilty of sin. There is no one innocent. 
and God is sovereign, so sovereign over everything, even over salvation. So I hope that afterthought kind of helps with understanding this a little bit more, even though it is difficult. So thanks for watching.